We are back with another Lego haul. It seems to be all we do these days, which um, is not that often. We haven't done much this year. Because um, of naughty work. Because of naughty work. But if it wasn't the work, we wouldn't have the pennies to buy the Lego. So it's kind of a, a necessary evil. Um, but it has meant that I haven't been able to knock out as many videos as I would like. But we are back and we have got another haul. And this time, normally our hauls, they are purchases from Lego Shop at home. So we're getting parcels in through the post. Um, but this one, it isn't. And it's not a big box kind of haul. This is a small haul from the Lego Shop in Edinburgh. And it's more about the experience that we had when we went to the Lego Shop. Because on Friday this last week, we went into Edinburgh. You okay there, dude? Um, we went into Edinburgh and we met up with some friends who were on holiday here from America. Now, our friends are fellow YouTubers, fellow Lego enthusiasts. And we, we do watch a lot of their episodes. Yeah. And it was so nice to meet them um, and spend some time with them. And um, of course, it, it would be a miss not for us all to have gone to the Lego shop together on Friday afternoon. So we did, and I think they'll probably have a video out about it, and what I'll do is I'll link it up here and, and put their link down there once they are uh, got their video released. Um, but we're gonna show you what we got. Like I say, it's not a big box set, this. This is lots of little things, and it was about the experience, because we went into the store with, with, with our friends, and there was a lot going on. It was a very, the shop was busy, it was good, and the, the, the build a minifig station was just surrounded by people. Um, it was really difficult to get in and build minifigures. We have got some of those coming up. Um, but yeah, I was quite surprised that the the, the, the pe main people that were around it, other than ourselves, was actually a group of probably early teenage girls. And, and I didn't think they were really the demographic. So it shows that Lego really does appeal to lots of people. But enough about why waffle. Should we get into what we got? Yeah, you're in Am I talking lots? Yeah. Should we get into there and you can tell them a bit more about what we've got? Because, to be fair, the most of this, bag. it's a paper Lego bag. Most of this stuff in here was for him and it was also for the wee girl because she was with us. You're going to come in, you're out of shot, they can't see you. Um, it was mainly for him and the wee girl. Um, but part of the stuff we did was there was some different activities where you could spin a wheel and it would give you an idea of what you wanted to build. Celebrating 90 years of Lego. Um, and he ended up building, I think it was a duck, and the little girl ended up building, what was it? Um, a cake. Didn't look very cake-like, but she had a go. So it was really good, the experience there in the store. There were actually cupcake There was cupcake cases there as well, but we didn't use them. She didn't use that though. What are you going to show them first? What have we got in here? What have you got there? It's my... Let's show them on there. Motorbike duck. My motorbike duck. That is the bathtub motorbike from the Stunts theme. City Stunts theme that's been out a year or so now. This is one of the newer ones. Um, again, they had a display set up in the store with a number of these motorbikes and some of the other sets and things with like the loop-de-loops and the flames to jump through and there's nothing that you had to hit things and knock things <laughs> off. And the kids were absolutely loving it. Took the both of ours and and our friend's young boy. He was absolutely loving it. They were all playing with them. And and um, like I say, we we, we I got I let my two Hello. choose one each. So we've got this one which was his. And the wee girl wanted the chicken soup person, which I think is quite cute. I rather like that. But the bath one's way too cool. The bath one's cool because it doesn't fall over so much. But yeah. the chicken one, I think the minifigure on that one's really, really cool. I like the chicken suit. Um, I can't see what it says on the front of the t-shirt. Is it? It's Extreme! <laughs> that is my level of humour, that. So, we'll put them down there. You can't really see them very well, but they are there. That's the, the two stunts motorbikes that they came away with. Well, we got this poly bag. This wasn't a purchase. Because we spent over £30... We got um, it was like a scratch card, lift flap card to, to see what you'd won. And um, I think the majority of them will have been like this. They were uh, a poly bag. We just got one this time. Um, last time we had that promotion, both kids got a, a scratch card thing. But this time just the one. But that, that, that was because they're, they're arguing over it. Because for me, being of my generation, I said that as a girl set, which I know I shouldn't. It, he wants it. If he wants to play with it, he can. But I thought that would be better for Wee Girl to play with because he's got plenty of Lego already. So we've got a friend's poly bag. What else we got? Hello. Right, these are your minifigs you made. So do you want to get them out? These these are his, his builder minifigs. 
Well, they're the, they're the three pigs he built. Would you want me to get them out and I'll, I'll bring the camera over and we can have a closer look at them? Okay, show us your mini pigs. So who have you got and what accessories have they got? Hello. This accessory... Accessory? Accessory is a diving board. It's like a surfboard, isn't it? Diving yeah. board. I really like the, the hair piece mm -hmm. on this one because it's kind of moulded hair and hat. That was kind of cool. Let's bring the camera in so you can see. Let's see if we can turn that around. La, la, la. I do really like that. That's kind of a, an interesting outfit. It looks almost like a clown's outfit, I think. And then here we go. We've got kind of a workman who who needs to. Kind of, oh, they're a workman, but they also have a secret identity because they're kind of wearing a mask to hide their face. So they're a villain workman. What? Look, if you see the black bit across their eyes, it's like they're wearing a mask across their eyes. Yeah, because I, 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 chose, I chose a bad guy head. You chose a bad guy head, yeah. So that's that one, and they've got... Who I knows what to tools mine. they've got in their toolbox. I'm going to mine. And then we've got this dude who, who's... I'm glad to see he's wearing a helmet, because he's going mining. Um, but it appears to be like a, a castle theme helmet... With, can I have a look at the face? Can you take the helmet off a second? Yeah, we've got a clown face there. And then almost like a, a tracksuit top, kind of a, a zippy top. And then, interesting, almost like a dress bottom. Um, it's certainly an interesting character, um, but it's what he wanted to build. And the axe glows in the dark. Um, we tried this out by cupping hands around it, and it, sure enough, it does glow. So that, again, is an interesting accessory. So that was his three minifigs he built. What else is in there? Okay, right, so we've got... Okay, you're out of shot again. You don't want to be on this video. We've got one pick a brick. Two pick a brick. And... Another brick. got another pick a brick. Right, so we go, unbeknownst to us, just cleared off. And next thing we know, she's picking bricks out of pick a brick. So we decided, actually, you know what? We've not done pick a brick before. So we would get one each and fill it with whatever... We fancied. You can see there's some of the new luminescent sort of yellowy green pieces in there. I did find that they had the two by one masonry bricks. So I tried to encourage you to get a few of them in there. There's quite a few two befores, but then she's only three. So building with two befores is actually a little bit easier for her. Um, and a few blue transparents. There's a few bits of plant life in there. Um, so it really is quite a random assortment in Grace's and what we might do is do another video where we tip these out and see what's actually in them and see what we might be able to build with them. So that's Grace's one. Do you want to quickly kind of show yours to the camera to show the kind of bits that are in there? You, cannot be able to build a crane. you might think you might be able to build a crane or something. Shall I hold it up and show the, the camera it's what's like, in there? So we've got some clouds cloud. which are like from the sort of the Mario kind of sets I think. And we've got some wheels. We've got a couple of wheels hiding in there. And you've also got some feathers. We've got these sort of yellow gantry pieces. That are like tubes with cross section. Um, you kind of see sort of in the cranes and things that you get. Um, the sets like the sort of the cargo train sets when they've got cranes and things. They are the harbour sets that they used to do. They're kind of them kind of industrial like pieces. There's also a few more bits of plant life in there. Couple of blue plates and things. And There's like the wheel. Steering wheels, I can see. What else is in there? There was also some light, sort of. You can see them at the bottom of there. Lightning flashes. Lightning. Kind of the purpley lightning flashes. I've got so, some of them blue. With those two, it is going to be interesting to see quite how well they've both chosen their bits and what they can build with it. Because it certainly looked like our, our American friends were a lot more strategic in what they were putting in their picker bricks so that they it. could was... build things while they were were still on vacation. I was trying to make a car, but I couldn't find the pieces for it. Yeah. I think the bits were all there, you just maybe couldn't see them. Plus, you've got lots of bits of wheels and wheel like axle pieces already mm -hmm. that you could use if we need to kind of dig into it and get it. Mm -hmm. Right, what else is in here? What else is there? <laughs> We're gonna get that one done then. We have 
the Chippendale Brickheads. Another set of the sort of Brickheads that we haven't got. Um, Chippendale, I grew up with Chippendale. I mean, I know they've, they've done a, a remake sort of film in recent years. I always remember the, the cartoon, Res Chippendale Rescue Rangers, from my childhood. So that's, that kind of joins a few of the others, like the Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote and things like that from my childhood. Those kind of characters. That was been, I've got to be honest, that's more, I bought that one kind of for Maura, because she wasn't with us at that point. So I kind of bought that so she had something. Right, what have we got left? Hello. We've got Hello. some right Muppets. Two of them to be precise. Which, which one's mine and which one's yours? Oh, I don't know. We've got two, two of the Muppets minifigs. What? Don't let me know Hang on. That one's my one, I reckon. I reckon that one's your one. Now we actually chose these based on the staff's feeling up of the bags of uh, which ones these are because that way we got two that yeah, we that don't already have. Because we have actually got just up here There's in the end you can't really see. One. You think you've got Beaker and I think I have Miss Piggy. Right, do you think we should open them up and have a look and see if yeah. that's Because you get a bonus opening here, not just a haul, a haul and opening here. Right, I'll open mine. Can I at the top? Let me do yours. Let's see if I can't chop some of these heads off. Ow. There you go. Now, we think we know what should be in these. Let's see how good the staff yeah, in the Edinburgh store are at feeling bags. Well, your bits have gone everywhere. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean, they're mine because I have my big head. I'm going to be honest, it would be difficult not to kind of get that head right because that is quite a unique piece. Um, and you definitely can get this one right because there's the like yeah, it's kind of a long, tall head, isn't it? I mean, one thing I did notice that out of the 12 figs that are in this series, Kermit was missing. There was no pop for Kermit. Um, and I think that's because Kermit's basically been the really popular one that people have gone in and bought. And I think that's probably the one that's going for the highest resale value on the likes of Bricklink, eBay, uh, etc., etc. So people have gone in, paid their 3 49 to get their mini figs, and then they're probably selling them on it. At extortionate prices and I'm not going to say a word because that's what I do so uh, I've not done that it's not really focusing is it focus on a focus focus there we go I do rather like that that is a nice nicely printed Miss Piggy Miss Piggy is holding um, I'm not quite it's sure what that, that is one, is it like a poster that one, that a poster one, of Miss Piggy that one, that one. we have we're now up to one two three four five we're, we're halfway there with the with the Muppets you're gonna give Beaker his um, whatever it is. Is it a sensor kind of thing he's got? Yeah, some sort of sensor that's got a gauge on it, and then you can stick him on his thing, and we can add him there. So, you're right. <laughs> I got my own little muppet here. Do you want to shuffle back in again? You, you, I don't know what's going on with you. You keep disappearing off my screen. People can't see you. I mean, they only come here for the DJ show. They're not here for me. They're here for you. The story of, of uh, a DJ. Ooh, a DJ. So there's our two. Actually, we'll put them here with the other ones. So we've got our two Muppet minifigs. We've got the three minifigs that he made, um, which are quite cool. No, we'll leave the other ones in there for now. Yeah, you can come into shop though if you want to move across because people can't see you, dude. So that's our, that's basically what we got in the Lego shop. Um, like I say, it's this, not a big this, box this, haul. This, this. Yes, they're the ones we've got. But it's lots of little things, and it was experience of playing with some of them. Hold the bus. Where's the one we've been taking down? Our tick sheet is up there somewhere. We will get it after we finish making this video and showing everyone what we've got. Move in, move in. I swear down. It's Never work with children or animals. That's, that's what they said. Never work with children or animals. Right, so that's not it because this was our haul well, from I mean, the Lego shop. That, well, that's it for the Lego bag. That is it for the Lego bag. Now, this is what we got from the Lego shop. You're coming up. <sighs> ah, monkey. You're getting as bad as your sister. Um, that's what we got from the Lego shop in Edinburgh. Now, it just so happens that while we were in the Lego store in Edinburgh, I got a notification from DPD on my phone to say that I was getting a parcel delivered on Monday, uh, Monday the 1st of August. Um, and I knew, knew there was something coming because I'd had a couple of other Lego emails. Um, but 
I had this text saying it was coming Monday, this this message saying it was coming Monday. I'm like, oh, that's all right, but I'm kind of at work on Monday and, and whatnot. And then that was, so we were in there on Friday. Saturday comes around, about half ten Saturday morning. I get another notification saying your parcel will be delivered between 13.19 and 14.19. I'm thinking it's not the 1st of August. So I double checked it and sure enough, it was saying it was coming Saturday afternoon. I'm like, oh, I was out and about. Well, I actually wasn't at home. I was out and about put, actually posting um, somebody's brickling cord of that, that I'd just put together. Um, and the one that my daddy has. Oh, mm -hmm. look at him. He's, he, loves, he loves me getting his Lego. He does all cuddly when I buy him Lego. He's yeah. quite cute like that. Daddy, you um, really made me fall off. I nearly made you fall off. So that that's yeah. kind of what we got anyway. So I got this message and sure enough, am I going to pass this one over or are you going to pass it up to me? And sure enough, Saturday afternoon, about quarter to two, in comes parcel. parcel. We've got a great big parcel here. Now what I'm going to have to do before we get into this one is maybe put them to one side. So, okay, so now we can get into this. Oh look, that's what's in the box. It's a DJ. No, it's not really. Let's get into this. Uh... You alright over there? You're getting a bit excited. You don't know what's in here. Oh, do you? But oh, don't tell everyone. Don't tell everyone. We'll show them in a second. If I can ever get into this. Oh my days! I'm making a right job of this. I wouldn't mind, but it's only like paper sticky tape. Oh, let's get into it. Cool. And it's upside down in the box, but what we have is. That's the back of it we're looking at, all right? That's not the front. I'd be Rick. very disappointed if that was the front. Rick. Check out this guy's reading, right? If I'd got him to do that on one of our videos, like even six months ago, not a chance. This dude's reading, it's coming on something amazing. But well, what we have got is this one. It is the round two Bricklink designer program modular Lego stuff. Lego shop! Which I think, it's the only one I got from round two. From round one I had the castle, if you remember, um, in a previous haul. I'll put the link up the top there. But that one is my only round, I only took one from each round, and I never took any from round three, so there'll be no more coming, I'm afraid. Uh, but that is the round two set that I got. Um, and I, I I, I've only built one modular modular in total, and that is my Parisian restaurant. I've got most of the modular, well, most of the modulars since then, um, but um, we haven't built them. We haven't built them. So yeah, we've not built a single one for our jigglings. So this will fit nicely on I our think, street. On our uh, our street of Lego work, we have a bit around to building it. I'll we'll show you the back of the box. So that's the back. It opens up a little bit. I'm not quite. What is that time there? Mm. Is that a stock room? Yeah, it's like the stock room and the staff room in the back, I think. And then there's a, a bike park out the back for the staff's bikes. Um, I rather like the little Lego store employee limited, as you can see there. The, he's in his little outfit with his name badge. And they all appear to have the same, same outfits on. And on the back, they've got the Lego logo. Mm -hmm. Yes, miss, there. Are you going to build our street? Because, I mean, when we make our street, then we'll have to build this for our city. We will. We we would well, love to build a, a city. Game, we can make a train station because we've got our train in there. I'm disowning him. I'm disowning him. I don't care that Lego call it a train station. It's a railway station. If you're in America, it's a railroad station. It's not a train station. It's never a train station. Uh, this video will self-implode shortly if I say train station one more time. Um, but yes, talking of train stations or railway stations. <laughs> Um, I do I do like the look of the um, new one they've brought out this year from Lego and I think we may well invest in that at some point because it's so nice I think it's been a long time since we've had a railway station for the for the Lego train system mm -hmm. um, and as you can see up on the shelf there the little dude has built up his birthday present from they got in May which is it's just above behind his head there it's the the, passenger, the previous passenger train not the new one um, yeah, he did really well with that. He built the locomotive. We did a nice family build with it. Um, I built one coach. His mum built another coach. Ouija helped us a little bit with um, 
speeding pieces while we were trying to build our thing. Um, I rate, I like that Scottishness. Okay, so I think this is where we'll wrap it up. But it just felt appropriate that when we were in the Lego store buying all those other bits, I got the message saying my Lego store was coming. Um, especially with who I was with, which I'm not going to disclose who it was. Those who know, know. And those who don't, well, I'm not telling you who it was because um, I'm just not because at the time of filming, they're still on vacation and yeah, that's all I'm going to say. But um, they will probably get a link from my video once they get home and get their video uploaded. Um, all I will say is it was very special to meet these people um, and it was so nice to find that the person we see on YouTube regular is the same person in real life. They're, they're just just wonderful, lovely, down-to-earth people um, who I am more than happy to call friend. Um, it's, it's it, yeah, this dude got on very well with their wee dude. So, um, yeah, I'm going to shut up there because I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> it, was, it was just a really nice experience. Um, so, anyway, that plus... Let's bring all these in so we can show everybody exactly what the was. Two of them we tubs that stack up like that. We've got that and that and that. Hey, don't you damage that box. If I ever decide not to sell this, and not to build this and sell it, I don't want any things wrong with it. Right. From Beaker, Miss Piggy, Mr. Miner. Can you tell someone's just got into Minecraft that he's got someone with a pickaxe starting mining? And they look like they could be off to do some mining in that hat. And that person's just chilling with their, 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 their hair and their hat. She's, she's going for a dive in Minecraft. She's going for a dive in... That one's just going for a dive. Yes. <laughs> in Minecraft. Oh, my God. Right. Probably to Dude. You're probably out of practice again at this. But what do we say? Thanks for being a part of our brick life. Until bye. next time. Bye. 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 Bye.